Hi, everybody. Um, hold on. At home with Ronan. Hi, everybody. Uh, let's do this thing. Uh, boom. Okay. Alrighty. Here we are. Hello, everybody. Um, this is Short Hair Ronin coming in hot. Um, welcome, everybody, to the very special Fox Instagram Live. Um, I have some, uh, some questions for you guys. We have some trivia today. Um... I was actually also thinking of maybe having uh, one of the fans join the Instagram Live. Um, I feel like that could be really fun. Um, so, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I hope everybody's staying inside and staying safe and staying clean. And um, uh, we're gonna get through this one way or another. Um, and uh, let's do this. So I was thinking we should start with uh, at Amy Frederick 51. She says, other than cooking, what hobbies are you enjoying during this crazy time? Um, well, I don't know if you guys just saw it, but I just received my massive uh, uh, fire truck and firehouse uh, Lego set. Um, I'm extremely excited to do that. Um, uh, you know, also just trying to take strolls. Um, I've been, uh, FaceTiming a lot with people. Um, and then you guys, you guys are keeping me busy. Um, those are my crazy puppies. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, excuse me, girls. Jeez. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay busy. Take these little monsters for walks. Um, so yeah, it's one, one, one day at a time, you know, one day at a time. Um, okay. What do we have here? True blue devil fan. It's been a fan for a while. Good to see you. Uh, what's your favorite scene from 911 Lone Star? Uh, well, as you guys Whoa. know, girls, excuse me. I'm trying to do an Instagram live here. God. Um, my favorite scene is, uh, it's the police station scene. It's. That's my favorite scene, hands down. Um, I felt like uh, that was probably one of the most challenging scenes for me to do as an actor uh, ever. Um, and uh, there was just something really special that happened um, that between me and Raphael and it, things just clicked and it, it turned into a magical, magical scene. Um, and I am so proud of it. Um, ooh, water break, sponsored to you by Fox Entertainment. <laughs> well, question number three. Um, this is at Bray.E. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Hmm. I want to fly. I definitely want to fly. Um, I definitely would want to uh, hopefully fly outside of space. Um, hashtag I drink water. I saw that. Um, yeah, I, I definitely would want to fly for sure. Um, what was the emotion? What was the most, this is from at a R K H four M, um, Arkham, I'm guessing. Um, what was the most emotional scene to film? Mm, probably, well, hmm. I think I think the scene with my dad and the dog. Um, I think just overall, because of everything that was going on. First of all, the scene. Um, Kobe Bryant passed away the day before, uh, so it was. Um, yeah, it was. That was a. That was a rough. That was a rough couple of weeks. So, yeah, definitely, definitely that scene. But I was I'm proud of it. I thought it. I thought it came out pretty amazing. Um, well, first of all, what do you guys, what do you guys think of the hair? Because I'm sort of really loving it, like, really, really loving it. And I just got like a, I just got like a really 
really beautiful um, fade, like an official one. Um, okay, so guys, I have an idea. Uh, why don't I pick some lucky fan to join us? Um, let's see, this one seems fun. I hope they, I hope they can join us. Hmm. Hello. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I had no Hi, idea Ronan. you were here. I love you, Ronan. <laughs> I love you, Raphael. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> this is, this is as, this is as good as we could have done it for you guys. I, I hope you're okay with this. Social Wait, distancing. First. Yes. Yes. It's healthy. Hi, Rafa. How are you, baby? I'm okay. I'm okay. You hanging um, in there? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Definitely. Definitely. I, I, I feel like, you know, this is one thing that I've been applying throughout this entire quarantine time. Mm -hmm. It's just like, and like to not lose so much of myself. I always go back to this one quote that I was taught in university. And it's like, champions adapt. Right. Yeah. Champions adapt, no matter what. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, in order to adapt to this whole quarantine thing, I, I've been taking the responsibility out of myself. Yeah. To control things, right? I'm someone who likes to have control over things and and, um, and make sure that my life is, you know, trimmed up and, and nice and. But with everything now, I'm just like, okay, champions adapt. How can I find my own power throughout all of this? Um, and not, you know, because it's, it's a virus. It's something that I have no control over. Exactly. Right? And it's something that I don't even uh, aware if I catch it. Um, yeah. And I can control that. So the only things that I can do <clears throat> are just stay home. Yep. Um, remain calm. Yeah. Um, and just it, listen and just listen yeah. to the professionals. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just don't, like, don't go don't, compared to them. Yeah. Our jobs are easy right now. Like all we have to do is stay home and try to be safe and, you know, just make sure we have enough food in the fridge. But like these people are fucking out there facing this head on, you know, and a lot of them are dealing with patients who are sick and who are dying. So it's like, yeah. The least we can do is, and it's like a broken record, is really stay home and like, yeah. just fucking let them do their jobs, and yep. and we will get through it. Exactly. I mean, and we also have the privilege the fact that we can stay home, right? Exactly. Uh, some people, some people don't have uh, the the finances to just stay home. They no. have to go to work, and it's you know, and it's, um, yeah, I think I think this whole quarantine is like a. Uh, it's a nice, nice little dosage of humility for all of us. Oh yeah, um, and groundness and, and yeah, humbleness. yeah, yeah. I, I think it's very easy to, um, uh, at the end of the day, vic victimize. You know, those in position of power and privilege. Um, I'm certainly in a position of privilege where I can stay home and not work, not have to go out and work, and I can provide for myself. Um, I think it's a it's a it's a nice wake up call to just be like, oh, there are people right now that don't have the finances to just stay home. They have to go out. They exactly. have to put their their butts on the line, and and um, and other people have to put their butts on the line to save other people. Other people that don't take this seriously, yeah, that are not that thinks that this is a you know a, a whatever whatever they think they they th this this mentality of invincibility. Like, oh, I would never get it. Like, I'm okay. Yeah. This is something that happens to other people. Especially young people, that, you know? There's yeah. this misconception that young people, even if they get it, it won't be that bad. But it's like, that's not the case at all. And you can infect yeah. someone that could potentially die, you know? Yeah. Uh, Raph, yeah. We're, getting, we're getting comments that your sound is not good. Uh, do you think maybe oh. it's AirPods? Yeah. Can that literally see? popped. Just popped. Just popped. There you go. Is that is that better, everybody? I can I can yeah, my dad. How's the sound, everybody? You guys, okay. Is that better? Better. Okay. Okay. Cool. So better. better. Um. Okay. Fantastic. Um. I so, Raphael.
Okay. No. Um, um, wait, sorry. So I, I heard that we were going to play a little trivia today. Oh, are we? We are. I think so. How does this work? I don't know. So I have questions for you, and then you got questions for me. Okay. And I think everyone should put in their answers uh, below and see if you know uh, Lone Star as well as we do. Well, hopefully as well as we do, because that'd be pretty embarrassing if we don't. Yeah. Um, okay. So I okay. have questions for you, right? So trivia questions for Ronan. Yes, I think I have uh, Can I do the honors and ask the first question? Sure, yeah. Okay. What was the first call Carlos responds to in the season premiere? Oh, that's that's Michelle getting arrested. Yes, that's yes. that's the one. It's just like, bah, 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 bah. She's like yeah, when she's yelling, banging him. on the door. She is out to get him. All of that's them. right. Um, okay, cool. Okay, I'll one ask for one. Yeah. Okay, what? One for one. One for one. One for one. Okay. All right. Okay. Also, season premiere. Uh, season premiere. The one twenty six responds to an emergency of a guy who choked on a pepper. He intended to. Uh, he intended to prank his friend with. What was the name of the type of pepper he choked on? Ooh, this is very specific. Uh, Carolina Reaper. Yeah. 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 Carolina, Carolina Reaper. Yes. Okay, good. Um, hold on. I'm getting, we're still getting audio is bad. Okay. Shit. Mm-hmm. What are we supposed to do? Can you hear me? Okay? I can hear you. It's a little staticky. Is your, is your Wi-Fi fully on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So I'm staticky. Am I staticky? see let me see what's going on here Rafa, we can't hear you okay okay how's this everybody can you lift, guys hear me lift your lift up your phone Rafa. yeah i'm saying. holding my phone okay we're gonna try to do this like this now all right i'm changing locations better now thumbs up now it's better Bueno. Bueno. Okay. Okay, bueno. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Rafa, I yes. miss you very much, first of all. Wait, what did I say? I miss you very much. No, I miss you. This is, um, this all, but we're going to get there. Okay. Yes. I'm going to ask you a question, my friend. Okay. What type of meat did Roblo's character Owen, uh, what type of meat has Roblo's character Owen never heard of in episode uh, two? What type of meat he's never heard of? It has to do with a um, with an emergency where uh, racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the racist oh, one. It's the, it's the, the, the lady who d dislike other people, differences. Yes. Um, well, the type of cooking, right? It's yes. Barbacoa. It's Bar the, the one that you cook. Yeah. The one that you cook underground. Exactly. Yeah. Damn, okay. That makes... Two for two. Okay. Your okay. Turn. Two for two. Okay. Not me. Me next. Okay. Um, brrr... Oh, okay. For his hair treatment, Owen gets injections every how many weeks? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, hold on, don't tell me. I mean, you would think I would know. I I watch the episode twice every week. Uh, six weeks? Wait, what? Is it every six weeks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. Nice. Oh, I like this next question. Okay. Uh, in what episode do hashtag Tarlos first hook up? In what episode hashtag Tarlos? In what episode hashtag Tarlos? What, first, what, what's the first time we hook up? Oh yeah, I mean that's the second episode, but that, but that, <laughs> that, yeah, that hashtag kind of started 
before the show even premiered. Did, did hashtag Tarlo start in uh, November or December? Dude, we were shooting. It, it, we were shooting episode three, right? Or four? Episode three or four when you came up to me and they oh, released yeah, the yeah. promo. It's because the uh, when the trailer dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So the Tarlos, I feel like, has been going on for a little while now. But uh, I think that's like the official, official. We're only starting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. All right. It's me now. It's me now. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, no, we, we know this. We know this. Um, what caused everyone to go insane and start jumping out of windows at the office? Oh, uh, the, uh, the delivery guy put, um, mercury yes. in the food. Yep. And it became Mad Hatter's disease. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at us watching the show. Working it. Working it. Okay. Like this. Yeah. What? What was Carlos's advice to Michelle when she first insists her sister is still alive? What was Carlos's <laughs> what? What was Carlos's advice to Michelle? Yeah. Um Oof. Oh, is there a, a specific Oh my God! Am I forgetting this? I think I'm forgetting it. Should we? Should we? Uh, should we use a hotline and ask one of the fans? Oh my God! Should we? Oh, I think someone. I think someone has got it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yep. Rafa. The, yep. Yep. He needs to. She needs to go see um, a curandera. She, she, yeah, to go see a, a like a, a psychic, a, a, yeah, a psychic, a witch, um, huh? A witch, yeah. All right, you got you got the fans to help you out. I, yeah, yeah, people that things. was pay attention, people. You guys, uh, you guys. Oh, uh, Rafa, before we go any further, I just wanted to um, make a quick announcement about the um, the organization that Fox is working with. Um, especially during the iHeartRadio uh, yeah. concert in the living room. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know, but um, the iHeart Living Room Concert for America raised $10 million. Yeah. Fucking yeah, happy. baby. Thank you to everyone that donated. Um, and we just wanted to, again, send a friendly reminder that if you want to uh, continue to help and donate whatever you can, literally it could be a dollar, Yeah. Uh, go to one strcf.org one like the number strcf.org and that is the first responders children's foundation obviously we care about this foundation we're playing first responders and um like they are literally the first ones there are the superheroes right now exactly so thank you uh, if any of you guys are watching if any of your parents first responders um our heart is with you guys and um, i know you're gonna bring it home for us so thank you yeah um, Okay, Poppy, your question next. My question next. I kind of just spilled coffee all over my table, so we're going nice. to... Yes. Okay, anyway. Um, all right. Class. Just completely. Okay. Uh, in episode... Okay. Okay, in episode three. What was a woman... No, in episode three, there was a woman who fell off her apartment balcony. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? How did it happen? Oh, it was a ridiculous situation. And I know this happens in real life too. There's a lot of selfie deaths, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Um, she was uh, recording like a, a yoga pose. What was the name of the pose, do you remember? The uh, falling off my balcony pose. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think that's it. Um, there we got we got Poppy Chavez on the on the line right now. What's up, Julian? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh shoot. Hey, Jules. Where is he? Oh. Uh, you... Rafa, do yeah. you like the haircut? I love the haircut. Isn't it amazing? I love it. And you got you got a, a little. Uh... I got a fade. 
Yeah, nice. Did you go somewhere to get it? Uh, my neighbor faded me up. You guys, I was there with gloves, and it was very official. Yeah, shoot, that's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's very convenient to have him right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, my hair was getting crazy from like seven months of product and I yep. needed a haircut and I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I buzzed it myself first. Yeah. He gave me a proper fade. Didn't you also have like long hair at one point? I oh, dude, I had, I had like Tarzan hair down to my shoulders and then yeah. I had this kind of hair in my first movie. So I've sort of tested every single length possible. I like that. I like the hair too. Nice. Oh, this is my little dangle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been wearing this before. It was cool, man. <laughs> well, well Rob Lowe made it cool in the 80s, but yeah, I'm trying to make it modern. Um, That's nice. Okay, That's my nice. friend. Okay. What two, ooh, this is a good, this is a good scene. Okay. What two characters, shh. What is that sound? My puppies. Should you go check? Two seconds. Everything okay? Yeah. Hello, everyone. While I have your attention, how's everyone liking the playlist? Is everything okay? Do you guys like it? I listen to it when I'm uh, working out, when I like really want to get pumped up and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, I hope everything's okay. Oi, Portugal. Okay, okay, oh, there you go. We're back. Is everything okay? The girls are okay. They're just squealing to, for me to let them out, but they'll, they'll, they'll steal the entire show if I let them out. <laughs> um, okay. So, what two characters share a horseback riding scene at the end of episode two? Oh, that was horseback riding. That was Judd and Noah, right? Judd and Noah when they're, in, when they're uh, out in the field and jump. Yeah. Oh, such a yeah. good scene. It's like kind of, I, I don't remember, I don't remember the lines exactly, but it's, I think it was, it was, it was Judd saying like, I don't, what was it? Like just accept the present moment and make the best of what you got right now. There's no yeah. reason in, in um, pushing it off, you know? I, I think. sort of one of the first times Judd really let in Owen into like his world and yeah. was like, look, I'm not the stereotype that you think I am. I'm like a good guy with a good heart. Like we yeah. can work together. I love that scene, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I, I could quit you. Yeah, Julian, <laughs> wrong movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I wish I could quit you, Ennis. What? From Bro Brokeback Mountain. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Like that what movie, movie is. <sighs> Whew. What a movie. It's a beautiful movie. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. What kind of car does Carlos drive? Ooh, a sexy car. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's for me. that's my question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 yeah. So the sexy car is a Chevy Camaro. Mm -hmm. That thing is not the most spacious inside, but it is pretty sick. It is. It is. The windows in the back are kind of small. You can't really... I know. Do you remember that scene where we're picking up uh, Paul in episode five and we're taking him to the club? Oh, yeah. After, and every take, I would have to, like, smoothly try to squeeze into the back mm -hmm. and it's never smooth. <laughs> so claustrophobic. And then every time they would cut, I had to have both of you pull me out. Yeah. It was the tightest squeeze, dude. Listen, Plus, man. Yeah, yeah. And then they, they asked me to back up the car and drive off. And we're like, should we do it? Should, should we actually take this guy for, for a ride? Well, yeah, I mean, they let you like sort of drive for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That car would be fun. Um, oh, uh, this is a great question because you're the one that actually revealed it to the world. Mm. Uh, what do TK's initials stand for? Oh, totally cute. Totally cute. Tyler Kennedy Strand. I was going to say Tyler Kennedy. That seems. Fucking police basic. Tyler yeah. Kennedy. Boom. Best Won't scene. even give me your name. Best scene ever, dude. But I got it. I love that scene. Ooh. That scene, that scene was, whew, it was everything. It was it's so meaty, so meaty. I loved it. I loved it. 
You know, you know, you know, when I'm, when I have memories from shooting that scene or for, from, for, for scenes, you know, that we, that I auditioned, that I tested for this show with, uh, sometimes I just walk around my house and I keep saying the lines because just, I just can't get them out of my head. I just love, I, I just love the, those scenes. Um, I feel like if we sat down, I, I feel like we could do the entire scene again. All three. Yeah. For sure, the yeah. the are stuck in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Let Let me ask you a question. This is not part of the uh of the trivia questions, but okay. very curious to know what what would be your top three favorite scenes for Carlos? Mm. Top three, starting from three, two, one. Three, two, one. Um. Mm. You know, I. So number three, no, it's Tarlu specifically. No, no, it it can no. be you. It can be Tarlu. It could be you with anybody. It could... Okay, okay. Well, number three for me would be definitely Liv Tyler. Uh, when when Liv when Michelle goes up to uh, Dustin as he's walking out of his truck and going yes. into school, that was I I don't I I just saw having worked with Liv. Um, before it was, uh, like, that was the very first moment that I saw, not only, not only, uh, live, just, uh, I, I love the openness of that scene and how, like, Michelle, you know, captain, she's out there saving lives, she, you know, shit doesn't really bug her. She fucking does anything everywhere just to save people. Yeah. And here she is, and, you know, it, it's super boss, right? Super strong go get her, nothing stops her, right? Yep. Relentless, that's what she's described, relentless. Exactly. And it, that, that was just a different moment that I saw Michelle just dropping everything and being, being the one in, in need of help because she's the one always helping other people. And I just saw, I, I just, it was just a beautiful scene between Liv and, um, and that other actor who also happens to be her actual uh, yeah. brother-in-law, right? No, he, he was just beautiful. He, she recommended him, and it was an incredible. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So that, so that's my number three. Number two. Oh, number two. Uh, number two for me is I, 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 the number two for me, I guess it's the scene, but also just the entire experience would be our scene at uh, outside with the with the boba with the with the juice and everything just shooting that scene that day was a lot of fun um it was it was or nice. yeah Oof. like just it was it, it was just a, a a rescue rescue moment between just carlos and tk and that was the first time that was the first time that tk says carlos's name and i was and that was a that was a thing that you threw in because it was not written. That was not written. I was it like, was not yeah. written. And I was like, listen, the fans want it. Yeah. And yep. it's so true. I I've never called you by your name, and I'm like, no, that doesn't seem right. So yeah. every take too, I was like, they're not they're not getting away with this. No, no, no. So that was that was that was that was a fun fun little scene where it's you know they they, they leave it open, right? It's like it's like when. With like relationships, two people are always like, I don't ever want to see you again. But that moment, you know, the beginning was like, hey, it was fun while I'm alive, and I'm glad we got to know each other. I'd rather be your friend. Uh, I'd rather be your friend than not know you at all. You know? I know. That's obvious. Um, and then there's this. And that's true love right there, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. It, it's, I think, the selflessness of both characters during that scene of you having to save Ellen and, you know, Carlos having to just make sure no other cars, you know, bump into each other, destroy each other and all that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, um, they were brought together by the fact that they give so much of themselves to their people. That was, I love. Um, and, I mean, needless to, needless to say, for me, number one is, is the, is the the police station thing really oh yeah 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 for sure i mean i mean there's one thing 
you you don't you don't and this is it's about like good writing right like th these are scenes that you like while you're driving your car just as Raphael I drive my car so to the lines because I love them so much they were just in my body in my imagination and you know this like great scenes are the ones that I find myself just doing them by myself and like dreaming about ways of doing it what would happen if this happened. What would happen if I said something different? Said it yeah. in a different way, and um, yeah, that's my that's my number one. For sure. love that. Scene. It's like you know when they say like when when like sparks flew. It's like our energy was just so on the same level that day, and I, I think just just overall with that scene, every single time, like again, like from the chemistry read on to the real the real thing it's like every take was magical and it's like you don't you don't get that very often you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. it was yeah it's 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 very it was a it's a very beautiful moment wait ronan sorry 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 uh people are asking you to hold up your phone because they can't hear you that well or, uh, or whatever device you're holding i guess like this yeah can can you guys hear it? Ronan's phone causes an echo. Ronan's phone is just ruining everything. <laughs> there you go. I th I think they can hear you. Ronan, hold your phone. Uh, yeah. How are we okay, doing well, now? I I think it's good now. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. But I, um, you know, just just I, just commenting on the on the chemistry thing. I I think. People see the chemistry when two people are not lying, you know. Yes, sir. Um, yes, they do. I, it is just no one, no one. I, you weren't lying. I wasn't lying. So we were actually living in that moment together. So, okay. you know, and and it's, it, you know, what I admire most is that it, it's it's hard sometimes, you know, with so much going on around you um, in terms of shooting a scene. Um, in terms of, because there are people around you, cameras moving, you know, when they want to get a close up, they're on the dolly and they should move forward and you need to be very intimate. It's hard sometimes telling the truth in front of the camera. Sometimes you just have to BS it. But I'm really proud of that scene because there are so many people around us, you know, the extras, the uh, background artists moving around doing, you know, their, their work as cops and everything. But there's a million people in front of us and for us to, uh, have that type of interview. I remember it's such a beautiful yeah. moment and it happened a, a bunch of times it's like when they yell cut and you can see like the camera operators and the people behind the camera sort of just being there and watching and be like whoa yeah like like, like we we just recorded that yeah like that's that's in forever land now yeah 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 the beautiful thing is when you can catch it <laughs> it's like oh got gold yes yes oh uh I almost forgot it is our sister's birthday Natasha. Woo! Yeah, Tosh. Happy birthday, Natasha. Happy birthday, baby. Everybody go wish Tosh a happy ooh, birthday. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> go wish her happy birthday. In yes, the everybody. In the go wish her happy For birthday speech. right now. Yes. Everybody. Right. Um, well, should we finish up these little uh, these little trivia questions? And then we have a bunch of other questions that no, we can no. hang out with the people. Yeah, shoot. OK. Whose turn is it? I don't know. Uh, let, let's go with you because I asked you the top three scenes. Okay. Sounds good. <sighs> okay. Um, aw, okay. Okay. In what episode does 126 get a firehouse dog? What episode? Eight. Yes. Yes. Buttercup. Yeah, Buttercup. God, I love that dog. That dog is so special, man. Oh, man. I would have been all over that dog. <sighs> and you had to pretend not to like a dog. Oh, it's and you know I'm obsessed with dogs, and I have two yeah. dogs. And it's like every time I would yell at him. First of all, you're not allowed to yell at them uh, because they're trained dogs and they're very sensitive. So that was good. Mm. Um, when when you see me really yell and like it looks like I'm pushing the dog off the bed, he wasn't there. Oh, really? Yeah, thank God. Wow. And then after every take, I would get like even a little bit upset with him. Uh, as soon as they yell cut, I would like go hug him and give him a kiss. And he knew that it was like, it was okay. All right, yeah. Oh, that oh. dog is so, he's so beautiful. <laughs> All 
All right. All right. Hit me with the one, two. One, two, six. Ooh, I like this. While playing darts, TK says, you know I'm holding a dart. Mm. Carlos's response is, <laughs> and I'm packing a piece. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. yeah. There's the scene right there. Careful. Ooh. Careful. You know, you know, uh, several, several of my, uh, um, like, uh, c- civilian clothing scenes, uh, I would go up to, to Matt. He's the prop. Prop, uh, props guy, you know, for, yeah. you know, at Lone Star. And I'd be like, do you think I should be packing a piece right now? Do you think? Shoot. And then every time I put it in, it just looked awkward. I looked like I had a, like a, a massive something coming out of my stomach. I was like, maybe some other time. <laughs> maybe some other time. Yeah. It's like, I was always packing. Very blessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. PG. We got to keep it PG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. After finding out Owen brought a hot date to the hospital to visit, TK asks, so are you going to tell me how long you've been seeing her? What is Owen's response? <sighs> Once you tell me how long you've been seeing that cop. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, baby. Yeah. We know. We, we know. The show. Wait, what? Yeah, you watched the show. Are you kidding me? Um, okay, hold on. I have mosquito bites. Okay. All over my ankles. That's not good. That might be the worst place to get bitten. Yeah. Shit. Okay. What do we got here? Okay. Um, ooh. What was the name of the woman Paul went on a bowling uh, date with? Oh, God. Oh, no. You guys, I'm going to need your help. These questions are, these are details. Oh, my God, Lenore. Mm. Wait, you got, you know, I'm going to discreetly look at the, the comments to see if anybody knows it also. Come on, fans. Help us out. Help, help us out, fans. Josie, 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 Josie. I knew it. Josie. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, just, uh, uh, just KDH. Thank you, Just KDH. Uh, yes. I appreciate it. Look at these fans. They're right on it, dude. They know. Yep. Josie. Just, no. Yeah, Josie. Josie. Yeah. 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 I knew that. I knew that. I was just playing, you know, hard. She was dude. awesome, dude. Yeah. She's great. Their chemistry I love her. is insane. I love her. I love her. I, I want to, I want to, you know, selfish little wish here, but I, I want to see if something happens. I hope so. Yeah. Paul deserves it. Yeah, hell yeah. Paul is such a good guy. Yeah. Love that man. Love the character and the actor. Love him. Mm. Um, okay. I only have three trivia questions left. I have. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. By the way, we're just like consistently having around 500 people watching. You guys are awesome. As usual. It went up. I think it was like when I joined, it was like 300 and now it's five. Yeah, when it was just me, it was like 300. And they're like, man, this guy's boring. And then you came in and it was like, Oof. yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carlos Power, baby. Carlos Power. Okay. Carlos Power, baby. After a tornado hits, a woman is left in her car hanging upside down between two buildings. Who repels down? Marjan. Okay, there you go. Birthday yeah. girl. Yeah. Yeah, Martin there you go. Is the uh, daredevil of the group. She's, I mean, I mean, just in her intro, she jumps off the fucking bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Badass. So badass. Ow, my mosquito bites hurt. You know, you can just put like a, a cream or something. I know. I know. <laughs> just put like nearest pouring or something. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, you have the tough request. No, I do, don't I? Okay, fans, listen up. Oh, we're assuming I'm going to need the fans? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Carlos and his partner show up to a house looking for a man. In, this is in episode eight. 
only to find his wife instead who reported him missing. Where was the man? Well, he was in his old house. Like, why? He has dementia. Yes. Yeah. Wow. wow. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, let, I let the bar go down a little bit because I forgot two of them. All right. No, it's fine. That's really fine. Good. That's fine. Okay. All right. Let's see if you know this. Finish Captain Strand's three commitments to his people. One, everybody who clocks in will also fuck out. Two, everybody gets a fair shake. And three? No one gets left behind when it comes to skin. There you go. All right. Come on. Doing good. That's my daddy. Doing good. <laughs> I know my daddy's rules. Yeah. Okay, sir. Ooh, this is uh, this is this is the last question because the second to last question that you sort of answered mm -hmm. has to do with what was I drinking in the scene and we talked about boba. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. The intro to episode two had people in an office going crazy and jumping out of windows. Mm -hmm. What movie does Marjan reference the similarity? Bird box. Yeah. Bird box. Boom. Carlos watches Netflix. Not that much. I'm sure uh, there's some scenes that we haven't seen where Carlos and TK Netflix and chill. Oh, yeah. That's probably the TV version. Netflix and chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I got one last question. Two. Okay, what episode does TK first learn his dad has cancer? Oh, tornado episode, episode four. Cuatro, yeah. That was a tornado of an episode for sure. A lot of stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. That was on my birthday. Oh, yeah. She had that scene on my birthday, cried my eyes out, felt amazing. Yeah. Ran back to my car. I was like, yeah. The bunch of donuts they got you. What was it Tosh? Tosh got you donuts, right? Tosh, Tosh got me vegan donuts on my birthday. Oh, shoot. She's the best. I know. She's amazing. Best. Uh, we're all going to go um, do a Zoom with her after this. Oh, yeah. We, we won't be streaming that. I apologize. No. No. Not this um, time around. Yeah. Okay, my friend. I... Uh, we have a lot of questions um, just from fans. Yeah. Should we, should we look at some of them? Let's dive in, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Have you, have you looked at, have you, have you answered any of them yet? I've, I've asked only uh, the first four. I've answered the first four. Okay. All right. All right. What was the most emotional scene to film? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. You did answer that one. Yeah. It must have, right? If you're like... Ooh, ooh th this is a yeah. good question. Um, we could definitely answer both of them. Why did you start acting? Oh, um, I started acting because um, I was really afraid of speaking public. Um, this was in high school, so, um, I started acting, I, you know, I, I had a, uh, for history class, I needed to give a presentation on my Angela and, um, and when I went up, my palms started sweating, I started to lose my voice and I just, I just, just kind of had this out of body experience, uh, which was, you know, when I look back, it's like, oh my God, that's kind of ridiculous but you know when when you when you when you're afraid of something you can't really you know um, yeah, it's your first time yeah and you can't really you can't really judge the type of fear you have you just have it so i figured the best way to uh because and after that class i was like i can't i can't let that rule me for the rest of my life so i need to either i have two choices don't do anything about it and live in misery for, you know, with that type of fear 
or I can face this fear and, you know, go all in. So after that class, I went to the drama club hall way. I signed up to audition for the fall play. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but it didn't matter because I figured if I'm going to face this fear, I'm going to be in the eye of the hurricane. So I auditioned for the fall play and I feel like the <laughs> drama director kind of looked at me. He was like, what is this being doing here? So, yeah. um, so but were you, were yeah. you hooked from the first time? Absolutely not. No, no, no. I was terrified. Every time I went out, I had a six line. I had six lines in the whole play. It was Anna Green Gables. I yeah. was Mr. Sadler who came at the end of the, the, the play to buy the house or whatever. Um, and every time I went on stage, I was terrified. But I think what kept, uh, what helped me go back every time to do a play um, and to just be there on stage, I think it was just the fact that slowly I find the freedom in doing that, uh, you know, because you, once you start conquering that fear, it doesn't become fear, it becomes fun, right? You just start doing it more and more and more and more. Um, and I, I guess that's, that's, um, that's, that's, I started acting because I, I was afraid to speak in public. Yeah. 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 How about, how about you? How about you? Why did, why did you start acting? Well, first of all, every, we've had like 20 requests to find out when your birthday is. My birthday. <laughs> well, my birthday, um, I wonder why people want to know my birthday. Why do people want to know my birthday? I don't know. That's something interesting. Maybe to just get ready for a really big birthday wishes and to be prepared. Well, 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 well. Okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. I'll good. think about it. I'll see if I want to share my birthday. Um, I started acting in high school uh, because... Uh, it sort of saved my life and the path that I was on uh, was not a very good path at all. And yeah. um, I can't even imagine where I would be right now. Um, I definitely wouldn't be here, that's for sure. Um, I had a guidance counselor, sort of was one of the only people that I was able to open up to in high school and she knew everything that was going on and like sort of was aware of my behavior and she's like, I think you should try theater. And mm -hmm. I was like, why? Like, what, why would I do that? And she's like, it might be good for you. It might be a good place for you to sort of um, release some emotions and face some demons and um, just really fully express yourself and just honestly just surround yourself in a really um, stimulating and productive environment, which I was not doing, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did a play junior year of high school um, and I was fucking hooked. It was like a drug. It was like doing a play for so special. But um, after that, I was like, I want to do this for the rest of my life and no one's stopping me. And it was a long time coming. Yeah. So, and you've been yeah. pretty phenomenally at it. Pretty great. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been killing it. I'm trying. Uh, ooh. Um, what was your favorite emergency that the 126 went on, both to film and to watch? Oh, okay. To film. Which, well, I, I feel like I feel like my scenes are a little bit special in the sense where I don't necessarily have many um, scenes with you guys specifically, right? Yeah. Either me and you, or me and Liv, or when it's all of us, it's like all of us at different uh, different times. And we usually show up to the scene, and you're already there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, but. My favorite to shoot, even though it was cold as shit, was that uh, at the end of, at the, it was our first like interaction ever. Um, it, it was uh, for Carlos and TK that uh, the car flipped over. Uh, the baby was in the tree. 
Like that was my favorite to shoot because I remember, because I had to give a whole spiel, right? Like, and it was cold and it was wet. And I had, that was, I had a bunch of layers on and it was still cold and wet. And I guess that's ju that's just a part of me, right? Being new to all of this. I was very mm -hmm. proud of that day that I was just like, yeah, I was able to walk in and like give my one ten percent in this complete. It looked like a fucking movie set. It was just, oh, it, it was so insane. much going on, and I was I was just like, holy fuck! Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Very and much then, like a blockbuster film. Yeah, like every episode feels like a blockbuster film. Oh my god! Yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> and the circumstances were like. Well, ready or not, here you go. Poof. And I was just thrown into it. You have no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I just I, I, just had to do it, you know? And I was really impressed with that. And I guess it's a little bit selfish because I am I was impressed with how I did. But at of the course, time, you should. You should pat yourself on the back, dude. Uh, well, but even, but even then, right? I feel, like, I feel like it was a lot more fun because everyone was there. We were all trying to, like, figure this thing out right um with so much going on so that was my favorite to shoot with all of you guys really um yeah it was the first it was new i think there is that type of innocence to it right because it's the first one uh favorite to watch the bird box one yeah. it was so fucking crazy it was that one crazy. Was crazy and we had like 50 oh extras God. well most of them were stunt people going nuts yeah and like I truly had, going nuts oh god i had no clue I had no clue that they were actually stump people. I thought they were just like extras. And then so everyone started having a seizure. I was like. One guy like busted his forehead open. Yeah. yeah I was holding him down. I don't, I, don't, I don't know when they edited. Uh, like you and I held him down, right? Oh, yeah. He was the one it was the insane. Yeah. How about you? What was your, what were, what were your uh, uh, favorite to shoot, favorite to watch? I think my favorite to shoot and to watch was. I mean, honestly, the episode 10 rescue, it's just like the fact that they gave us that entire scene Yeah. to just, I mean, it, it's, it's such an honor. We had an incredible dialogue leading yeah. to one of the craziest rescues of the entire season. And it's like dealing with something like a solar flare. It, it, it's, I mean, and dude, when I tell you that, rescue scene like acting is it's really interesting because when you're thrown into situations like that it's like your body doesn't know you're acting yeah like mentally we're aware and we have lines and stuff like that and you want to make sure everything's safe but like when your body is in knee deep water and it's freezing and you're trying to get this lady out like your body's in it and it is trying to get that lady out and it is fighting all the senses of like staying warm and not i mean we were soaked for like 12 hours yeah um yeah yeah so and then the way it came out with like the slow motion and the smoke and like the rescue and then that awesome <laughs> callback to uh he's an impressive guy he's my son mm -hmm. and when we had that exchange with uh in episode two and that was just like i i've rewatched that scene to be completely honest it's just so epic it's like it's crazy how, and they flipped the actual truck. That was the yeah. last shot of the season ever mm -hmm. was all of us standing watching that stunt happen and everyone just clapping and, and that's a wrap on 911 Lone Stars. It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful scene to watch. <laughs> to shoot and it's it. such an epic way to finish, you know, it's like the <laughs> big, big stunt and everyone was there. And yeah. It's insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, what else we got here? Oh, this is, I think this is a good question that I, I hope I never get used to. Um, did you expect to have such a fan base and reaction to your character when you first signed on to 911 Lone Star? Oh, uh, no, no fucking <laughs> way. <laughs> no, we would literally have to be like a. Uh, like a like like a like a mystic or like a a gypsy to see that happening like yeah. it was like i know i know going into it i was really proud to like show tk storyline and just to sort of um 
showed those certain topics on television, especially network television. Yeah. Like um, portraying an openly gay relationship with not making a big deal out of it. Uh, um, opioids and overdose and a father son, but like, I mean, for it to blast off like that. Yeah. In pretty much November. It's yeah. like, I mean, I can't imagine the show even expected that to happen, you know? So it's like, I think, I think the fans, they sort of caught everyone off guard and it's like, it's just been insanely incredible to watch just like yeah. the, the trajectory of it, you know, it's just like going up and up and up and there's just more fans and they're more loyal and they're more excited. Um, yeah. You guys are everything. It's like hashtag best fans in the world. I'm, we're going to make that fucking stick. Oh yeah. Sure. I feel like I think they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're all incredible. And I mean, did, did I, did I, exp I mean, I, I have no, I mean, complete honesty. I'm still, you know, driving on that, riding that I'm a rookie type of train, which yeah. I, I'm totally indulging myself because truly I had no freaking clue what the hell was happening half of the time. But, you know, I think, uh, I think, I think it, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, easy to connect with people that really care um yeah you know um i i it's safe to say that i mean if if not everyone then most people on set every time we're on we really care about what the hell we're doing exactly and which which is so incredible because you've had scenes where you improvised and they kept the improvisation right i also had that because i was just like this doesn't make sense to me for for this to happen and me not converse with you remember so remember that scene when um the ambulance and the uh, uh michelle's ambulance kind of flipped over because the garlicky guy yep. you know you know when when jim judd comes up to me and he's like hey what's happening jim and i we were like i can't just look at you and expect you to understand so let's just exchange lines and see what happens yeah and they kept it they kept oh, shit. it so that was all improvised as well. That whole interaction in the, at the top of the scene. So, I mean, it really makes a difference when you care about what you're doing. And oh yeah, you know, I feel like I feel like doing a TV show or a movie can be a secluded world uh, yeah. itself, where you, you know, as an actor, you're you're uh, you, and especially a principal. Um, people treat you differently with respect and and you know you give it back as well but it's very easy to feel pampered and I, I yeah have, and this is something obviously i'm speaking from my own experience my own experience only it, it was i felt easily pampered and i was like no 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 no, stop and then when you feel pampered it's just like yeah i'm important uh you know what i don't need to care so much about this anymore um but i was like whoa, whoa, whoa stop let's get off this train let's stay grounded let's enjoy this let's have fun and put everything on the line risk everything and i think that's what fans also connected with right because of that that uh, audacity to give everything and not really hold it back for every for every scene for every moment exactly. and that, that's what's fun about it you know and, and i'm very thankful for the fans they uh, it's their love and passion that that's that's very exciting to see after I watch every episode, I would just hop on Twitter and Instagram and stay there for hours and hours and hours just to see what they like, what this happened? No more, more of this. Dude, oh thank God, this God like, thank God at least we have something like Instagram and Twitter right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know if, if you guys realize like how much it really helps for at least me personally to stay sane and like to have, cause I love conversing with people and I love connecting with people. And um, I really love my friends and my family. And it's like the fact that we can still stay active and talk to you guys and like, yeah. uh, you know, like just talk about anything really. Like it's, it's become way more than just a show now. It's like, I think we have this really beautiful community happening and it's like, it seems like we're all there for each other. You know, yeah. it's like, especially right now in this time where it's like we need community more than ever um it, like this an instagram live like yeah just once yeah. in a while it's amazing dude and